Hello, Millerboy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download Xbox 360.iso files. Um, if you don't know what these are, basically they're the file uh, you need when you want to burn uh, Xbox 360 games. Um, obviously I'll be making videos after this uh, for one, how to burn the games once you've downloaded it and two, how to flash your Xbox 360 console um, so they can obviously play burn, burn games. So, uh, like I said, this video is just to show you how to download them. So, uh, the best place to download Xbox 360 games are uh, a good website I know, which we'll go to right now. So, go up to your address bar, and you want to type in xbox360iso.com. And then just hit enter. Just let that load. Now, here we go. Uh, you might have to, uh, I think you have to sign up, uh, you know, and then log in so you can actually uh, download files. But uh, basically, what, what, once, you're, once you're on it, you want to scroll down until you see the Xbox 360 download section. Now, what you want to do is you want to find Xbox 360 DVD game downloads. So you want to click that. A little advertisement might pop up, just click off that. Um, and then it'll load. Uh, then you want to scroll down, and now uh, and now you can click on each one to um, find a list of games. If you search for a particular game, um, you can actually you can either go through them all, or over here at the right, there's a little search this forum button where you can, like, uh, if I just do that, or you can search for um, the uh, different games like if I want to find oops if I want to find you know the new Batman that just came out I just type in Batman and see what comes up and I get um I get a few things like this is one I want Batman Arkham City so um I want I want to click in that one so basically you find a game uh, click on the uh, link and it'll take you to a, a thread with all the information and the uh, the links so let that load up. Just take a minute. Now, uh, once it's load up, you want to scroll down, and it should be. There's normally have a picture of the thing, and then it comes up with all this information. Now, I'm just going to go for this region three. Basically, um, I'll come to this uh, later. I'll talk about this later in my other videos as well. But uh, when it says region three, basically means Games come in different formats. They can have uh, they have the PAL. Uh, if it's a, a PAL uh, version, then it can only be played on Europe consoles, like you know consoles from Europe and some other places. If it's um, if it's I think it's NTCS or NTSC, that's like America and stuff. And I think there's like Japan versions. Let me check. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a few versions. Basically, if you have a region free one, that can work on all consoles. Uh, stealth patch. I'll come to that when we're doing the burning. Uh, leave that for now. Uh, I extreme compatible. I'll come to that again when we're doing the flashing. Um, XDD free. I'll come to that with the burning and the flashing as uh, there's a new uh, Microsoft brought out a new type of disc. So, but I'll, I'll talk about that in there. Uh, next things and um, basically yeah so give you some pictures now here's the bit where you wanna sometimes give you one link and it'll come with a um, and the link will be a text file and basically it'll be a text file full of lots of different links because um, it comes in parts you see the games so you wanna choose your favorite one I normally either go with mega upload or something like that but you, you know you take your pick um, so you know uh, I'd go with Mega Upload. So what I would do is I'd select all of this, right, and then I'd search or see it. Uh, and now uh, a little thing's popped up called J Downloader. This is a thing I've downloaded myself. Uh, you, I'll put the link in the description for this. Uh, like I said, it's called J Downloader. Basically, when you copy links, if you open this up, that automatically a pink in the link grabber tab, link grabber tab of um, this program, and then basically it. 
it takes each individual line and it uh, sets it up to be downloaded so I'll put the link in the description for that and basically you just download and install that and then you'll be able to do this so once you've uh, downloaded and installed that and you've, you've uh, r uh, ran it so it's uh, started up you want to uh, right click and copy your links and then open this again and it, it, it all the links should pop up in the link grabber the next thing you want to do is you want to click continue with all down here at the bottom you see um, I'm not going to do that because um, I don't really want to do actually you know what I'll just download it just to show you so I'll click continue with all and as you see it'll just take a second and if I click this little plus It'll uh, start to download. I have to wait 18 minutes. If I just, if I click the refresh connection, sometimes that helps if it's uh, not doing it. So obviously, you know, on Mega Upload, you have to wait 45 seconds or something. So it does that. It does all this automatically and downloads each one. So it's quite a handy program. Obviously, like you can do it hand like by yourself. You can put each link into your address bar and download individually. But this is a program just you know to help you, you know, do this process a lot quicker. So um yeah, so these these will download one by one and then once it's done, it also has a ha another handy tool where it will extract all the files inside and put it into one folder. For instance, I I've downloaded one, uh, I downloaded it and uh, it went into one big folder with other things in, then I extracted it again and I got the files. Anyhow, once this is done and it it's, it's extracted all the files and you've ex made sure you've extracted out of all the uh, the dot raw files. Um, you want it. You you want to make sure in your folder you've got you, the two files that you definitely need once it's finished extracting. You want to check the folder where it's saved to, and it should be the the, the files. Sorry, the files you should have um, are it should be like the name of whatever game you download dot dvd and then the name dot iso. I'll come to these when we're doing it, the actual making of the burnt disc but these are the two files you definitely want to make sure in your f uh, folder where it's been saved to if you don't know where that folder is it's been saved to if you click on the actual this, the main package of all the links if you click that and then you uh, right click and go down to properties now it should say save to and it will say where it's saved to here so uh, you can change that if you want if you want to change that for all your files you can go to settings uh, and downloads and connection and it'll, you can change your directory for future downloads but basically that's how you download um, an Xbox 360 ISO so um, as you see it's downloading now and if I open um, the directory where it's being saved just take a minute it's there that core back as you say the same name uh, so you basi basically that's it it'll start downloaded and once it's done it'll extract all the files and make and make sure it's all extracted if not you can do it by hand with like something called uh, WinRAR and it take them out yourself and then you should definitely you should have a DVD and a .iso file then in my next video I'll show you how to uh, what to do after that so uh, as usual Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any problems with this, uh, tell me. I'll put the links in the description for both this, the website and J Downloader. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.